Podcasts have grown in popularity globally over the past couple of years, but with it being an audio-only medium, it's not been something that could be enjoyed by the deaf community or those who are hard of hearing until now. Tuli Zikalala, one of only 11 interpreters accredited by the South African Translation Institute, collaborated with the digital radio station Cliff Central to bring the award-winning Blind History podcast to a whole new audience. Tuli, a very warm welcome. And firstly, where did your interest in sign language originate? I studied at Wits University. The plan was to study psychology and to major in that. And one of the options that were available was SASL, South African Sign Language, as a second major. And to be honest, I found it very fascinating because I didn't know much about it. I took it up, I worked hard, and only to find that I'm actually quite good at the subject. There's a very big misconception that if you just know the basics of a language, for example, in this case, SASL, then you can quickly become an interpreter, which is not true. And this false perception is really causing a disservice to the communities that we serve. So be fluent in the language and master the skill of interpreting. And that's exactly what I did. Uh, coupled with mentorship, coupled with um, you know experience, coupled with practice. So it's something that you do over and over again. And I think that's the tools that I've used in my career that have gotten me to this point right now. Now, podcasts, by definition, speak to digital audio entertainment. How does this podcast work, in other words, and how is it accessible to the deaf community? We've got a YouTube channel, cliffcentral.com. Um, interpreted content that is available where it's got podcasts for hard of hearing people. So with the actual podcast, we've got the audio form, but we've also made a visual um, aspect of it available. So you'll see that if you go onto the YouTube channel, uh, you'll see me interpreting. So it's a video of me interpreting everything that's discussed in the episode. We also include subtitles to make it more uh, visual and accommodating for everyone. So it's not just listening, you can watch the interpreter. And we also believe that having subtitles is a way of improving someone's vocab. So it's a 360 degree experience of making information as accessible to everyone. What then is the broad aim of the project? Our collaboration was aimed at removing barriers and introducing the deaf and the hard of hearing community to the wonderful world of podcasts with the vision of empowering them and helping them make informed decisions through information, access to information in their daily lives, wherever they could find themselves. So it's just also showcasing the professional skill of interpreting, but also introducing a wider audience to the wonderful world of podcasts. The podcast is currently only doing pre-recorded segments. What would the next step then be in this journey? Podcasts live forever. At the moment, we're still in talks and we're excited and we hope that more episodes and more clients may jump on. As a pioneer and as a visionary, you, might, you may know that it's a bit difficult to convince uh, clients or corporations with a new idea. They don't really get the concept. So I think at first we have to do it and show them that it works. But we hope that with time, they can see the bigger picture and the bigger vision of pushing humanity forward and making sure that their content is more um, inclusive. So we want to have a more sustainable uh, projects going forward, not just focusing on one specific theme. In this case, it's history, but tackling any kind of thing that you can think of, you know, with current affairs, music, entertainment, science, psychology, anything you can really think of. Information is timeless. Information is boundless. And we are trying to access and approach content creators and podcasters and uh, collaborations with many clients as, as much as possible. Well, Tuli, thank you very much indeed. Now, the important role of sign language interpreters in communicating and imparting information has been placed front and center during South Africa's lockdown and COVID-19 battle. This project might just be the first steps to making the entertainment space more inclusive and more accessible to all communities in this country.